and welcome back. I know it's the middle of January, but I do have a few book-related and reading-related New Year's resolutions that I wanted to put out there. The first is that I want to read more consistently this year. The last couple years I've been in grad school and working and I just haven't had a lot of the mental headspace that I would like to really get into the books that I want to read. And this results in, well resulted in me going weeks and sometimes months without reading anything for myself. Also whenever I DNF a book, I am really hesitant to pick up something new because I'm worried I'm not going to like that one either. So I go, again, days and sometimes weeks without reading something when I really could just move on and try something else. Next, I need to come up with a better way to organize my physical TBR list. I used to put a bookmark in the books that are on my TBR so that I could hypothetically just glance at the bookshelf and see the books that I haven't read yet. But then that got a little overwhelming and visually very distracting. So then I started separating the books I wanted to read into a pile onto the piano, but that's a place where my cats like to nap. For Christmas, I got a little rolling cart and I'm hoping that when I put that together, I can put the books on my TBR on the, sh on the cart and that will be the final solution of me keeping track of what books I want to read. And on the same note as keeping track, I also want to create a spreadsheet where I can document what books I have a physical copy of. There have been a few times now, and mostly last year, where I've bought more than one copy of a book because I couldn't remember if I had it or not. And then on the other side, I've bought the or I've purchased the second or third like book in a series without having the first one because I thought I had the first one and obviously it didn't. I also need to organize my books on my bookshelf and de-stash some books that I'm not interested in keeping anymore, put books from the same authors together. I want to actually stain the wood from my bookshelf so that they kind of match my living room and I'll probably do all of those things kind of around the same time this spring. Another book related resolution is I guess kind of obviously keeping up with this channel. Um, I've become, well I don't know if I've become or if I've always been and it's just gotten worse, a really big just workaholic. Um, especially the last few years, again, I've been in grad school and working multiple jobs and taking care of the house and doing all the things. And I think that this year I really need to focus on doing things that just bring me enjoyment and not because they're of a benefit to anyone else, but more just because I like to do it. I've already gone through and followed some booktube channels that seem really interesting and engaging and kind of similar to what I, I would like to do um, so I can get ideas and form a community and get involved. And on a related note, but I guess not necessarily related directly to reading, I used to be an avid writer as well, and I have some some ideas and some of my old projects that I would like to revisit, and by the end of this year I would like to have a book written, um, one first draft through and at least edited once through. I think that that should be more than doable. In this moment I can't think of anything else to add. But my next couple videos that I'm planning, I would like to talk about the books that I read last year, um, books I really enjoyed, books that I DNF'd, um, and the books that I got for Christmas, show you guys a little bit of that, and then probably wrap up January with the books that I read this month. Um, right now it's just Murtag and Dust. Uh, Dust is by Hugh Howie. 
comment below your New Year's resolutions. And thanks for watching.